I have the error codes 39E and 40E flashing on my Samsung refrigerator. Do you know the model of your Samsung fridge? How old is it? RF323 Tedser I think from 2012 is the year of manufacture. How long has this been going on with your Samsung refrigerator? What have you tried so far? Had it unplugged for a half a day for some movement and cleaning I've tried unplugged for a few minutes, rechecked all connectors weird thing is, the ice maker is making ice and the fridge and freezer are both cooling. Anything else we should know to help you best? I think that's it. 39 and 40 error codes yet everything seems to be working except, ice will not dispense from the external dispenser chute but will make the ice in the lower freezer. The site will give an additional option to speak by phone which you can ignore if you want. I don't send this the site will send this automatically. Whether or not the refrigerator is making ice or not, those errors mean that your refrigerator is detecting a bad sensor in the ice maker unit. Try to just reset the error. To do that, press and hold the energy saver and lighting buttons together for 10 seconds at the same time. If that doesn't work, then the ice maker needs to be replaced to clear the errors I'm sorry to say. We are on the honor system here. If you need anything else, just let me know. You can continue asking follow-up questions at no additional charge after rating my service if you still need assistance. I've tried doing the reset several times and nothing happens. If it won't reset then it means the ice maker needs to be replaced. It won't reset if the error isn't fixed yet. It's not a glitch or the error would reset. Unfortunately you need to replace the ice maker and then reset the errors. Okay so what is the part number for the new ice maker I need? Sure thing. Ice maker is part number DA9707603B. Okay, I saw that 39E or 40E was maybe related to the ice maker cooling fan. Is that the case here? That is not the case. 40E mean there might be a defrost issue. 39E means the sensor on your ice maker has failed. The sensor is what detects temperature so it'll make the unit think there is a defrost issue if the sensor fails. Okay also, the ice maker does still make ice but the external ice slot doesn't send any ice out to your cup. Will replacing the lower ice maker unit fix this as well? It should. The upper ice maker doesn't shoot out ice to the cut because you have error codes on your display. Until the errors are removed, you can't use the dispenser and get ice. It didn't send out ice even before the codes were flashing. When you depress the ice dispenser, the chute opens and the motor runs, but no ice comes out. Then I couldn't say if it'll work or not. If it doesn't you have a second issue and it sounds like the switch is working and it's trying to dispense ice so something is wrong with your bucket. Try to run hot water through the bucket and make sure it's completely thawed and cleared out. Then try again and if you still have problems replace the bucket. Which part is the bucket? Where do I pour the hot water? A diagram would help if possible. The bucket is the part all the ice collects in. This is the part you pull out to see you have ice. The upper bucket or lower bucket. Well we're talking about the dispenser not pushing ice out the door so that would have to do with the upper ice maker and upper bucket. You're thinking it probably the upper bucket that would be the issue. 
What's the part number on that one? If it's not dispensing ice but you hear a motor running then yes. The part number is DA820-1396A. I have no ice in the upper bucket, could the codes be referring to the upper ice maker not working? But I do get ice in the lower ice maker. GRRR Please be clear about your information. I only get ice in the lower ice maker, not ice in the upper ice maker. If you want more of my time, you will need to rate me positively first. You're now asking for a third answer because you had two problems and the information is changing now. Thank you. Give me a minute to look up some things on your refrigerator. Okay so based on your errors and everything you stated, you just have an issue with the upper ice maker itself. Below is a link to the ice maker you need to replace. Also, below is a video that shows you how to replace it because it's difficult to replace. Click here for ice maker, click here for video. Okay, sounds good. Rating sent. Okay, so based on your errors and everything you stated, you just have an issue with the upper ice maker itself. Below is a link to the ice maker you need to replace. Also, below is a video that shows you how to replace it because it's difficult to replace. Click here for ice maker, click here for video. Okay, so the codes are because of the upper one. Replace that and everything should be good. Will I need to reset the codes once the new one is installed? That is all correct, yes. And you will need to reset the errors once you replace the ice maker. Awesome, thanks for the help. Good luck. I thought out the upper ice maker just to see if that would do the trick there was ice clumped in the teeth of the ice maker and was wondering if that was binding it up and preventing the ice from falling into the bucket. I hit the test button and it beeped dot then about 5 minutes later after I closed everything up the fridge beeped again and now I only have a 40 E code. Okay so you do have two problem. Well that's usually a defrost issue when it's by itself not allowing the ice maker fan to run properly. You're going to want to unplug the unit for 24 hours to be sure everything is thought out properly. Then plug it back in and try to reset the error. If it doesn't reset, the fan behind the ice maker needs to be replaced. Okay to clarify. I want to shut it off for the upper unit to thaw out properly. And we're taking about a fan behind the upper unit as well. What's that fan part number? You really just need to unplug the entire refrigerator for 24 hours to make sure everything is thawed out instead of trying to hope that your hair dryer thaws all the ice out. As a technician, we just use a hair dryer, but we know what we're looking for and when it's properly thawed out. Fan part number is. Okay, and is there a how to video? Click here for video. Thanks, I'm seeing for that part as it's being called an auger motor. The motor runs so I'm assuming the fan is attached in that whole assembly. It's all one assembly, yes. Before I contacted you guys I looked up the 40E code and fan motor part number and ordered it part number, DA310070E. The video you sent is oh then replacing just that fan. Couldn't I just replace that fan like in the video to solve my issue? The entire auger assembly is about 3x as much. The fan is no longer sold separately for this model. You'll need to replace the auger motor assembly. This is the wrong part then? 
Yes, that is the wrong part. It might work, I couldn't tell you. But I told you already Samsung doesn't sell the fans separately for this model. It's not listed separately from the Augur motor assembly because it's been redesigned. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.